As I come to the end of my tenure as the U.S. Ambassador in Baghdad, I wanted to offer you my thoughts on the prospects for Iraq. Iraqis are uniting against Al-Qaeda. In Sunni Arab areas, tribal leaders and even some insurgent elements have turned against Al-Qaeda. Coalition commanders have been able to engage some insurgents to explore ways to collaborate in fighting the terrorists. These insurgents are also in touch with the government, seeking reconciliation and cooperation in the fight against the Al-Qaeda terrorists and joining the government in a reconciliation program. But we have uh, had discussions uh, with various groups, and uh, as I said, the Iraqi government has, and we have been in very much of, uh, in coordination and cooperation uh, with the Iraqi government as part of the reconciliation uh, program of Prime Minister Maliki, uh, and uh, those have taken place, and they are continuing to take place. Uh, um, uh, and I think one of the challenges is how to separate more and more uh, uh, groups away from Al-Qaeda, how to turn uh, them to cooperate with the Iraqi government against uh, uh, Al-Qaeda. That is the strategic important objective. We have talked to groups who have not participated in the political process, who have, uh, um, uh, have ties with some of the insurgent groups, uh, who are reconcilable insurgents. The terrorists are irreconcilable. There cannot be a reconciliation with Al-Qaeda. Uh, they have to be brought to justice. Uh, but there are groups that uh, resisted the democratic uh, change, the change in Iraq. Uh, it is our goal uh, to get those groups to be reconciled, to accept, to embrace uh, this new Iraq. And that will be a victory, a success uh, for, for the change that has taken place.